series. Um, decided to watch Grayson pitch. I think that yesterday was was a lot for Jackson, and I thought he handled everything unbelievably with from media to the hype. To, um, you know, it's not easy for anybody, especially when you're 20 years old, uh, to have that sort of focus on you and uh, to be able to handle it um, in a really mature way, I thought was uh, says a lot about him. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to tonight's game. Hopefully uh, we can stay somewhat dry and and hopefully I'll stay warm in the dugout. How impressed were you with, with the plays Kowser made there in left field at night? Yeah, those were two huge plays in big spots. Uh, those balls fall, uh, stuff changes from bullpen usage to other, some other things. So uh, I'm excited about the way Colton Kowser's playing right now, just all, all around. Um, the way he's playing defense, the way the bats he's given us, uh, the speed on the bases, everything. So, so um, you know, he had a really nice game last night. Is there any update on CNL Perez? The only f that he's doing really well. He is, I'm not sure if he's throwing a side yet, but he's throwing and uh, moving, in the, moving in the right direction. Um, the progression is going extremely well. Uh, I know he's playing catch. I'm just not sure how far along with that, but, but um, you know, it's just a matter of time now. Have you heard how Kyle Bradish's live bullpen went today? I have not heard how it went. Um, his game got scratched. I did hear that. I know he had a live BP, but I, I, uh, I'm not really sure how it went. I know obviously things change. We're early in the season. But at this point right now, are you looking mainly at, at Kowser as a guy you want in that lineup against right-handed pitching? And maybe Austin is more of a when there's a lefty that you would get him in the lineup? Well, Austin's going to get back in there. I I, uh, I, I think we're just going to see how it goes, honestly. Um, I like the way Colton's playing right now. And we got with Cedric and Santander. You know, we have, we have a lot of really good problems right now. Um, we have four guys on the bench that I... I I wish I wish could be out there, um, and that's going to be on a nightly basis. As the season gets going, it's going to be easier to kind of rotate to be able to give guys days off. It just when early in the year with all these off days, um, you know, it's a little bit a little bit more difficult. But you know, there, the fatigue starts setting in, and things day game after night games, matchups, things like that. It's easier, a little bit easier to rotate guys. We were talking to Kimbrell um, before, and you've seen an awful lot of great relief pitchers, Chap Chapman, and I guess where, how did, where, wait, did, where does he where does he rank for you uh, among the uh, among the relief pitchers? Well, you know it's uh, well he's got to be up there. I mean he's uh, one of the he's gonna be passing he's gonna be passing people left and right here pretty soon. He's passing Franco soon and um, Billy, Wagner. Billy Wagner. So guys that have Hall of Fame consideration, Hall of Fame votes, you know, Craig's been going to pass them by. I saw Craig when Freddie was managing him and Bobby Cox in Atlanta. It was Bobby in Atlanta in 10 and 11. Uh, and that was as electric as a, I, we had no idea who he was. And his little right-hander coming out throwing bullets at 100. Um, so I've seen him for quite a while. He is as in his prime was as dominating as as a lot of people have been. Um, like you said, I've been fortunate to watch some really good ones. But he has he just knows what he's doing on the mound late in the game, and and the the pulse is low. He's really really comfortable in that spot, and that's it's unbelievably impressive. Released a pretty classy statement yesterday congratulating Jackson on making the majors. What does it say about his character? I mean, someone had to be the corresponding move there, but he handled it pretty well. Yeah, I saw that too. Uh, unbelievably classy, and and doesn't surprise me. Just getting to know him in a, for a brief time, just for a couple of weeks. Uh, he brought energy every day in here. He was a total class act. He was an unbelievable pro, and, and would prepare like he's playing every single night. Uh, how he talked to the the. To the guys in the dugout and as well in the clubhouse, um, he was really a team first type of guy. So to, for him to do something like that just shows his professionalism and um, what a great guy he is.